Concealed behind emotionless white armor and dedicated to enforcing imperial rule through sheer brutality, stormtroopers were quite rightfully feared throughout the galaxy. Their prowess with blaster rifles alone made them true forces to be reckoned with, a claim even Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi would attest to. But with humiliating defeats to entirely primitive races and repeated showcases of all-around incompetency, the derogatory title of Buckethead quickly came into effect. The very same moniker cannot be said, however, for stormtroopers of the First Order. So, why was this? What made the two variations so different from one another? Simply put, hard-hitting, regimented training was what separated the foot soldiers of the First Order from that of their predecessor state. Gone were the days of inconsistent academy standards in favor of strict simulations that dealt in improvisation, counterinsurgency, and guerrilla warfare. The mindset of having to claw their way back into power, rather than already serving a dominant galactic government, made each and every soldier more well-rounded and indeed more formidable. So, while their quest to restore balance to the galaxy remained at the forefront of their every decision, the First Order sought to maintain excellence in their ranks from the ground up with almost as much enthusiasm. In fact, by discarding the weak, developing the physically fit, and retaining the mentally strong, the organization believed future success to be inevitable. However, if we want to go even deeper into the mindset of the First Order, we need to take a look at 2015's Before the Awakening. In this direct tie-in with The Force Awakens, Greg Rucker intricately describes not only the backstories of Rey and Poe Dameron, but also the Stormtrooper training of Finn, or rather FN-2187. So we now know that First Order fire teams, which primarily consisted of four cadets, were trained either through grueling simulations or in one-on-one -on -one duels the former of which had each soldier face off against New Republic opposition in any location imaginable, where they then had to accomplish a set number of objectives. Of course, this familiarized them with their adversaries foot soldiers, various battlefields across the galaxy, and real-life encounters, such as the storming of an enemy compound. It also allowed Captain Phasma, who would oversee their development from induction to deployment, to highlight every failing and somewhat praise each success. I'm not kidding here, but her highest form of flattery was using the word adequate, as if watching a whole legion of slain New Republic soldiers materialize into nothing more than a cold, empty room wasn't bad enough. The other form of First Order Stormtrooper training took place in between menial chores around the barracks, morale sessions where projectors would showcase propaganda, and speeches from high command. This would also include lectures regarding weapons maintenance, small unit tactics, military structure, and historical conflicts. It primarily centered around hand-to-hand -hand combat and scenarios involving various weapons, from vibro-axes and shock staffs to force spikes and resonator maces, each of which were strong enough to deflect lightsaber strikes, or at least that's what the instructors would say when listing their various advantages and, uh, disadvantages. Either way, the cadets practiced drills of basic moves before taking on one another in a winner-stays-on format. So with the combined prowess of simulations and hand-to-hand -hand combat, First Order Stormtroopers were prepared to face every scenario imaginable and take on any type of opposition. So there we have it, a comprehensive look at how First Order Stormtroopers were trained. But now, we want to hear from you. Which generation of Stormtroopers do you prefer or believe to be more powerful? Do let us know in the comments below. If you learned something new from today's video, be sure to leave a like. And for weekly lore content, press that subscribe button and notification bell to keep it locked here to the Cancrazans.